Ready. Hi, my name is Jonathan Clack. I'm here with my friend Dan. And I'm here to do a DVD. Um, I need to show you guys and show everyone that's watching this a body of evidence that's been given to me through the Holy Spirit. I got saved in 2002. I had a supernatural experience with the Lord. And when I did, He changed my life forever. Thank God. Praise God. Um, he changed me in just an incredible way. And when He did, He gave me some awesome spiritual gifts. The Bible talks about these gifts in 1 Corinthians. In 1 Corinthians 12, talks about spiritual gifts. And it says, you know, a manifestation of, of the Spirit is given to each person that gets saved. And what God does is He gives you a spiritual gift that's manifested through you. And it's the Holy Spirit working through you. And it's evidence of God. It's kind of like evidence of the wind. You know, you, you see the trees moving, but you don't see the wind. And that's kind of how um, gifts of the Spirit are. You know, you see evidence of God working through men. Anyway, so in 2002, I got saved by a supernatural event that changed my life forever. And uh, I was given the gift of knowledge and discernment and the gift of prophecy and the gift of wisdom. Um, here's a hieroglyph from National Geographic, and this is a hieroglyph. It has Akhenaten and Nefertiti in it. And back here on the wall, you'll see the same hieroglyph. It's in black and white here. And here, there's a lot of images that have been colored in. And the reason I've colored them in is because there's a lot of hidden stuff in here. This hieroglyph is 1,300 years before Christ. And this hieroglyph is going to explain Matthew 24 in the Bible, Mark 13 in the Bible, Luke 21. And for those of y'all that don't know about those passages, those deal with the second coming of Jesus Christ and the end of the world, and there's some very specific stuff in those scriptures. Um, that is, that there's some very specific things that are mentioned in those scriptures that I'm going to bear witness to, and my spiritual gifts are very centered in those particular parts of the Bible and in the Book of Isaiah. So, I'm going to make a statement to you, and when I make that statement, I'm going to let the Holy Spirit back up um, what I'm saying to you. So. Here's the statement. Do you believe that I can show you the bombings of all the buildings in the United States? The Federal Building bombing, the Twin Tower bombing, the Pentagon bombing, bombing all printed as images on United States currency. Right here, I know I stepped out of the picture, but I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> right here, I have the U.S. currency. This, these are actual U.S. bills. I have, they've been laminated in plastic so you can see very clearly and there's no wrinkles in them and they're laminated front and back they're easy to see and then i've taken those same bills and i've made pyramids out of these bills i've taken the same bills and made pyramids out of them and for a very specific reason um the night i got saved by the lord the lord told me in spirit that the pyramids were my enemy and i had no idea what he meant i, I was very confused actually uh, I had started manifesting an ability that was supernatural and it was beyond my my understanding really. I just couldn't really understand why I had the ability that I had. And my name, Jonathan Kleck, um, is going to actually bear witness um, to the information that you're about to see. There, the meaning of my name is going to be exactly what you're going to see. Um, the bottom line of all of this is really this. God called me, and first of all, let me footnote that, God called me out of just pure grace. Because as far as people go, I'm probably one of the last persons on the earth that should should have gotten saved, but God saw fit to save me. And um, He's given me this information so I can give it to you. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to present this body of evidence and I'm going to show you how the bombings of all these buildings that are printed on this money has everything to do with this hieroglyph of Akhenaten and Nefertiti. Don't forget this is 1300 BC and this money has been around, you know, since America has been around. Although the bills keep changing, there's a reason they keep changing and that's because there's a hidden agenda on the money. So Daniel and I are going to take a break and what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to set this easel up and I'm going to be able to zoom in on the U.S. currency 
and I'm going to show you all the bombings that are printed on our money and I'm going to show them next to the actual bombing of the building themselves so you can do a comparative analysis and then after that I'm going to prophesy and the Lord's going to use me to prophesy and show you what's coming and then I'm going to show you what it means and I can't really explain it until you see it. So we're going to take a little cut right now and we're going to see how this part came out so we can continue. That's it. All right. Are you rolling? I'm rolling. Okay. Um, Daniel's got the video going. I told you I was going to come back and I was going to show you the bombings of all the buildings in the United States printed as images on the United States currency. I'm going to show you future bombings that are coming to this country that are about to happen that are also printed as images on U.S. currency. Um, Newsweek magazine came out with a cover story and they said there's going to be an offshore nuclear attack on a port city. Um, you're going to get to see that exact article printed on one of our bills, an offshore nuclear attack on a port city. Um, the main thrust of what I'm trying to do here so I don't get sidetracked is I'm really excited to get to show you guys all the stuff that's hidden on here because it's so incredible. I mean, it's so, it's so mind-boggling what you're about to see, but the number one thing I need to do is to tell you the reason why you're seeing this. This is an appeal from God through me to you, asking you to turn to Jesus Christ, because a time is coming that the Bible calls the worst horror the world has ever seen. That's how it's described. So the tribulation is coming. And this is a wake-up call, and this is, this is meant to wake you up. It's a revelation gift, and I'm not going to kid you. It is scary, scary stuff, what you're about to see. It's real scary. First, I'm going to let you see the images, the bombings, and then after that, I'm going to show you who and what are behind it. And when you see it, it's just, it's just amazing what God's let been revealed here. So... Dan and I are going to set up the bills right now, and then we're going to zoom in on the bills. I've got this book I put together, and I've got some of the images that are printed on the money next to the actual images that are on the buildings themselves. And so I'm going to show you how to arrive at these images, and then I'm going to explain them to you, okay? So we're going to cut again, and we'll be right back. Now. Okay. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a pyramid out of any of the U.S. currency, and I'm going to show you hidden agendas on it. Um, the night I met the Lord in spirit, he told me the pyramids are your enemy. And I didn't know what it meant. I, didn't, I, I had no idea what he meant by it. I knew that I had uncovered something, but I didn't realize the gravity of it. And the Lord let me know the pyramids are your enemy and the Arabs are your enemy. And so I'm going to show you what he meant by that. I'm going to show you how to arrive at the images that are on the bills. Some of you may have seen this out in the mainstream already that there's an image of the Twin Towers printed on our money. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make an, a pyramid out of the $20 bill. This bill was actually proofed in 1996. And there's an image of, well, first of all, I'm going to make a pyramid. There's the pyramid. Okay, now I'm going to tell you about Isaiah. Isaiah, and I, the prophet, said in Isaiah 29:15, the Lord spoke through Isaiah. And he said, those who try to hide their plans from the Lord are doomed. They carry out their schemes in secret and think no one will see them or know what they are doing. They turn everything upside down. So I'm gonna suggest you they are the people that built the pyramid and let's turn it upside down. And there's the image and now I'm gonna move the bill and you'll see that that's the same image that was on the bill. And now I'm gonna put it next to the image of the Twin Towers. You have an incredible likeness of the Twin Tower bombing on the $20 bill. Okay, now as Dan pans back and goes back a little bit, I'm going to show you another image that's on the back side of the bill. And let me, let me just fold it a little tighter because I have my fold off just